Doria eats her heart out as William gave the Middleton $7.3 million property as a gift. And millionaire Essex Tycoon who bought wonderful Carol Middleton's party pieces. Business has revealed how he acquired the family-run company. Despite the rumors that the Middleton family was having such financial difficulties that they had to sell the business, the fact proved that there was no such thing. Kate Spencer, teenage years in the £1.5 million property named Oak Acre in Buckleberry Village, but the parents decided to upgrade to the £4.7 million Buckleberry Manor after they deemed it to not be private enough. It's also convenient as less than an hour's drive from the Cambridge's chosen property of Adelaide Cottage. Buckleberry Manor is a seven-bedroom grade two listed Georgian property with a drawing room, a library, and 18 acres of land. And it's where Kate's sister Pippa and her husband, James Matthews, chose to host their wedding reception in May 2017. And recently after years, Carol and Michael Middleton, parents to Duchess Kate, Pippa, and James are in the process of buying a sumptuous estate in Berkshire, featuring 18 acres in a manor with seven bedrooms worth around $7.3 million. And the royal son-in-law has put down some of the deposit money as a gift. The source reveals to Us Weekly. He sees them as his own family and wants to help out in any way that he can, explains the source. As for the Middletons' home to be which they reportedly have scooped up in a bidding war with other interested buyers. Located near the current home in Buckleberry, the home with ties to the royal family back in the 1500s features the grand entrance hall, a 17th century fireplace, a topiary shrub, and fantastic views. It's a quiet, secluded property along a country lane. Meanwhile, Doria Markle is not so lucky, despite being the director on paper of the company Loving Kindness, based in Beverly Hills. But it seems she's in trouble as the government is investigating the operation of the company. Many sources claim that this is the bogus company that Megan set up in a mother's name and its main task is, of course, money laundering. By contrast, Carol and Michael Middleton started the business more than three decades ago. It's fallen into administration and was bought by the Teddy Tastic Bear Company, which is owned by Mr. Sinclair. The 12 current employees will be working for him. Furthermore, the buyer insisted that Carol remained in complete control of the operation and direction of the product. James also highly appreciates her abilities, James said. I had the call, and within 15 minutes, I was speaking to Carol. She's wonderful. She's an amazing woman and quite inspirational. She'd stepped away from the business, and she was parachuted back to help it. A few days ago, the administrator said we can't do a solvent, so see you back in. It was a busy night, and now we're in and can't wait to take it to the next step. James said that Carol would still be available if you wanted to discuss any new projects. I'm very excited by this new venture and will be operating our firm called Crafty Pieces within the Party Pieces, Brandy said. It's going to focus mainly on products for children and be a spinoff of the Party Pieces brand, which was set up by Carol and her husband and was a fantastic operation for more than 30 years. We started speaking around three months ago, and we got on well. She's an inspirational businesswoman, and she's very clever and intelligent, and the royal family are fortunate to have her. 